details on this Swablu Community Day, Mega Altaria make its debut, and we're going to go over guides for Xerneas and Evaltal. I'm Alex Gum, aka Cheeklay, and welcome to Pokemon Go Ahead. Oh my god! Back to back! Another shiny! Yeah. Oh my god! Make sure you guys check out the next episode tomorrow when we do the snap event. We did do some snapshots for Smeargle and did the time research. So make sure you guys check that video out by subscribing, hitting the like button, that notification bell. And let me know in the comments below, did you get a shiny Smeargle? Let me know. But for now, since we are still at the process while you're watching this, editing that video, I thought I'd kill time to talk about the Suave Community Day details because they just came out. And we have some raid guides to go over for both Xerneas and Evaltal. Because they're both going to make their debut in the month of May. So, let's dive in. Swablu features during May Community Day and Mega Altaria will be appearing afterwards. Trainers. The featured Pokemon for this May's Community Day will be Swablu, the Cotton Bird Pokemon. Again, this event is going to be from May 15th through 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. So mark your calendars down if you need a shiny or any candy to evolve Swablu into Altaria. Swablu will be appearing more frequently in the wild. If you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny one. Evolve, <clears throat> evolve Swablu during the event or up to two hours afterwards to get an Altaria that knows the attack Moonblast. Take a few snapshots during Community Day for a surprise. Five Swablus, just to spoil the surprise. There will be a special one-time purchase Community Day box available for 1280 Poke Coins featuring 50 Ultra Balls, 5 Super Incubators, 5 Incenses, and an Elite Fast TM. For one US dollar, you'll be able to access the Swablu Community Day exclusive special research story called the Cotton Winged Bird. Stay tuned for when tickets for the Cotton Winged Bird special research go, uh, goes live. Uh, tickets are non-refundable. Um, please note that this special research will not include an in-game medal, just like with the other special research stories. Mega Altaria will be making its Pokemon Go debut in Mega Raids at the conclusion of May Community Day. So, sadly, it will not be during the event. Otherwise, we could just be doing raids during Community Day. Um, but, I mean, it's going to be out for a while, so it wouldn't make a big difference. But anyway, you can collect Mega Energy for Mega Altaria after Community Day. Once you have a really great Altaria that you evolve in Moonblast, you could use that, or a Shiny that you want to evolve, whatever your preference is, but Mega Altaria will be appearing after Community Day. Bonuses will be one fourth hatch distance when eggs are placed in an incubator during the event period, and as always, three hour incenses. And that, ladies and gentlemen, are the details for the Community Day for Swablu. A lot of people are going to be excited about this Community Day because maybe they don't have enough candy for an Altaria. Maybe they don't have a Shiny. It's not an easy Shiny to find, but we did get, like, a few. So, <laughs> I mean, we'll have to suck it up. But, I mean, we will do this for the XL candy, all right? Because I want to get more level 50 Pokemon, at least six for the level 50, you know, quest. You know, trying to get to level 50. Still second level 45, by the way. But anyway, I figured since we have talked about this really quickly, I figured we would go over some raid guides for both Xerneas and Evaltal, since Xerneas will be coming out next week, and Evaltal following up after the Luminous Legend X event for Luminous Legends Y. Can we just first talk about how gorgeous Xerneas looks right now? It looks beautiful. So again, this is going to be out from May 4th, through May 17th. So make sure that you guys do as many Xerneas raids as possible since it will be making its debut. It's a beautiful um, legendary, bro. Um, CP ranges for a hundo. If it's a regular, it's going to be $25.79 for the hundo. And since it is a fairy type, it will be weather boosted when it is cloudy. And that's $32.24. So remember, the numbers are $25.79 and 32.24. The move sets, the fast moves, and I need my glasses for this one. Is it tackle? Yeah, tackle and Zen headbutt. And then for the charge moves, this thing has a lot of charge moves. 
All right, it has Moonblast, it has Mega Horn, Giga Impact, Thunder, and Close Combat. That is a lot of charge moves. Xerneas is only weak against two types, and they are Poison and Steel types. The Ray Boss Info, it says it's a Fairy type, like it is. Ray Boss CP is 52,441. So 52,441, that's a big boy. And then it says the number requested for damage boost, trainers needed three to five. So just have five people. Don't try to do three people. You don't want to waste all that healing items and all that. The best encounters for the Xerneas will be Metagross with all steel type moves, Dialga with all steel type moves, Rose Ray with all poison type moves, Excadrill and Genesect with Steel type moves and Jirachi with Doom Desire. Interesting that Jirachi's on this list. You can even Mega Evolve Mega Gengar and Mega Beedrill and have them both learn Sludge Bomb so that you can be able to take Xerneas out. It also says to use Shadow Mewtwo and Shadow Metagross and other shadows, but I don't recommend shadows. I would recommend Mewtwo if it has psychic type moves. Or um, just like really, like maybe Venusaur would be a good pick. You can even use Mega Venusaur if it has Sledge Bomb. And finally, May 18th through May 31st, we have the Destruction Pokemon Evolatol. Now, Evolatol CP range will be the exact same thing as Xerneas. And uh, as, I mean, it's a dark type, so there's no chance that it'll have foggy weather here in Nevada. But. If it is windy, it'll be weather boosted. So, same thing as Xerneas, 2579, and then weather boost is, uh, not 20, 3224. So, that's the same. The move sets will be Snarl, Sucker Punch, and Gust for fast moves. And the charge moves will be Dark Pulse, Hurricane, Hyper Beam, Focus Blast, and Psychic. That is a broken move set right there. It has four weaknesses. It is weak against electric, fairy, ice, and rock types. And same thing, three to five trainers recommended, but stick with five if you can. The best encounters for Evolatol are generally electric and rock types. We have Zekrom, we have Thunderous in its Therian form with both electric type moves. We have Rampardos. Rhyperior and Terrakion with all rock type moves, and then we have Raikou. You can use Mega Manetric if you please. We also have Mammal Swine, which can learn ice type moves such as Power Snow and Avalanche. We also have Magnezone, which will be super good unless it has Focus Blast, then don't use Magnezone. Here's another good recommendation I would definitely use Mega Altaria with Moonblast and Xerneas. Because Xerneas, you already did raids the week before Evolatol, so you have a fairy type in disposal. And you also have Mega Altaria, which will turn into a dragon and fairy type. So although it did not list any of those encounters on this raid guide, I would definitely just bring in some fairy types in um, if you would like to take Evolatol down. And ladies and gentlemen, that will conclude today's episode. Again, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And stay tuned for tomorrow's episode where we show you how we did on the first day of this Snap event. I'll tell you what, okay? I'm not going to spoil too much, but um, we did get a shiny. I'm not going to tell you what it is, though, but we did get a shiny. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.